crypto guy is a nice summary, thank you. But I, I'm the deputy CFO of the city and also a member of the crypto and blockchain task force of the city. Um, well, first of all, welcome in Lugano. I know our mayor already welcomed you this morning, uh, but I would like to say uh, welcome in Lugano. Very proud uh, that this conference is uh, taking place in Lugano. And thank you very much, uh, Michael, for giving us the opportunity to talk about our Plan B. Um, Plan B is a very interesting project. Uh, it's not an alternative project, despite the name, because the B is a very special B, right? This is the B of Bitcoin, which Michael's really like a lot, and actually that I also like a lot, and all the team likes. So, but we will come back later on the Plan B. Um, we just start from, let's say, the beginning. Um, the city of Lugano has a strategic document, which is named uh, Strategic um, Development Guidelines, which is a document who sets a little bit the journey on the development of the city for the next years. Um, in, the, in the vision, uh, we have said that uh, Lugano has to be a model of innovation and collaboration. And as a mission, uh, we want to promote the digital transformation of the city, which includes the city administration and our citizens and the companies uh, working and, and operating on the city territory. So we basically want to become a cutting edge city when we talk about um, technology. So this is our vision and mission, but let's take a look at the journey. So in 2016, we uh, really stated in our strategic guidelines that digitalization is one of the most important things we have to do to modernize the, the city and to you know, project the city in the future. In 2019, we have created uh, Lugano Living Lab, which is a, a urban laboratory. It's a bunch of collaborators, very young collaborators. They are testing technologies, not only blockchain, but also you know, AI, etc., uh, metaverse, etc. And they do inside of the city administration, but also in collaboration with universities and companies, you know, to, to create some very interesting projects for the population too and for the for the companies who uh, operate in Lugano. This is really generally doing all technologies. Then in 2020, due to the pandemic, uh, we set up something very interesting, which is probably still a unique case in the world, uh, because we issued our own real stable coin, uh, the Luga. The Luga is a stable coin backed by Swiss francs. It's probably the first uh, backed by Swiss francs, the first stable coin which is related to Swiss francs. And this stable coin is, um, let's say, uh, exchange inside of the city territory. But we will come later on what is this Luga because it's a very special use case. Then in 2021, um, because of this first experience on the blockchain or in the crypto, we set up in the guidelines, uh, more specifically digitalization, yes, digital transformation, but also blockchain technology as a potential disruptive technology which, which we should take a look and invest in projects on, based on the blockchain. So we stated this in the strategic document, which for a city means then you have to follow the strategic um, um, guidelines to really do projects and develop the city. So it's really a very important document for, for a city, for a public institution. In 2021, at the end of 2021, we set up our own blockchain. So Lugano City has a, its own blockchain. It's naturally a private blockchain uh, based on a proof of authority uh, protocol. And this is uh, the blockchain who runs our Luga coin. And then it's also at disposal of the companies and the citizens who want to try to do experiments on the blockchain in a very safe environment, since it's the city of Lugano running it. We have, I think, 25 nodes, which are uh, operated by 25 partners, among which universities, um, banks, uh, companies, etc. So it's really involving uh, a collaborating with the territory, and this is really working well. And then in 2022, in last March, we launched the Lugano's Plan B. So let's make a step back really fast about the three projects I mentioned. Uh, the Luga. The Luga is a real stable coin, really. It's, it's one of the few in the world uh, which works very well because it is a program uh, that generates a network of merchants and citizens who can earn and spend this Luga inside of the city, inside of the network. So basically, when you go to the restaurant, if the restaurant is part of the network, you can spend uh, 1,000 francs and you get 100 francs cashback, 10% cashback, not in francs, but in Luga. 
And this Luga, then you can spend it again in, other, in the circuit in other shops. For instance, you can take a taxi or pay some, some you know, uh, fees at the swimming pool of the city, or even hairdresser, buying flowers, etc. And this is working very well, and it's very close circuit inside of the city. Uh, we have today uh, more than 9,000 active wallets, which means 9,000 citizens using this, not every day, but regularly. And this is uh, pro more or less like 15% of this, the population living in Lugano. Lugano is a, a city of about 65,000 people. So this is a very huge, I think, um, adoption rate. I think there are no other cities in the world with 15% of the population using its own stablecoin. And then we have more or less 300 merchants which are part of this uh, circuit. That's the first very important uh, project we have done based on the blockchain and crypto. Then I mentioned the 3A chain, which is our own blockchain. I won't spend much, much more much time on this. Uh, it's a blockchain open to everybody. It doesn't cost much to use it. So we are in inviting now companies to do projects, real projects on it, and we already have one, and then others are coming in the next month. So this is also a very interesting environment when to test our blockchain. And then, here we come for the, to the plan B. Uh, last March, last year in March, we announced this plan B. Um, it was announced here in this, in this convention center. Uh, we had 1,000 people here in the, sal in the room and 20,000 connecting from around the world. We were a little bit surprised about these 20,000 coming from around the world uh, watching this on our YouTube um, channel. But I think this shows immediately the interest of the community about any important project developed on the blockchain and on the crypto space, and even more if it's a city, if a public institution doing that. So we got this uh, amazing launch. So, but what is Plan B, actually? So Plan B is a joint initiative uh, between the city of Lugano and Tether Limited. Tether is the USDT stablecoin. You probably, uh, most of you know about that. It's the biggest stablecoin in the world. I think there are a mass of like 82 billion US dollar outstanding. And with them, we are trying to strengthen the international positioning of Lugano as an innovation hub, and more specifically, uh, focusing on blockchain and crypto. So we, we really took this focus on blockchain and crypto uh, to really show what we want to do to make the city of Lugano a very innovative city, but more specifically to attract the community who is a very active community uh, these days. And Michael is a representative, so we, we met thanks to this launch of, of the Plan B um, uh, plan. So what is Plan B? More specifically, it's, it's a bunch of objectives. Uh, we set up with Tether some objectives. The first one is to adopt blockchain as a technology. Uh, we would like to you know, adopt crypto payments, not only for us, but also for the citizens and for the, for the shops. I remember you that uh, 300 shops already accepted our Luga, so crypto is already there. We just now opening to Bitcoin and Tether. Um, we want to educate the population about what blockchain is, what crypto are, because this is the future, this is coming, even for central bank digital currencies, they are coming very soon, and the population has to be, you know, aware what we are talking about. It's no more uh, having some cash in the wallet, it's, it's a private key that can, you know, if you give a private key to somebody, they can take all your money. So we really have to educate the population, but also, uh, working with companies and universities to prepare the future generation of the workers, of, of the collaborators of the startups and companies that comes to the city of Lugano or the region Lugano to work. Because, you know, if you increase dramatically a, a sector, then you have to, you know, deliver, offer the right work, the right um, knowledge to continue, you know, developing projects on the blockchain. So we are working with university for this. Then uh, there is a, a plan of uh, doing a lot of events. We already have done many, and, and a big Plan B forum, which we have done last year, but we'll see this later on. And then we have to reach, or we want to, to build this bridge between the traditional finance and the blockchain and crypto space, because we believe this has to be done. The banking sector can no more uh, just ignore what's going on. And actually, I think in the United States, some private banks are really advanced on this. But in Switzerland, we are still probably resisting uh, the change. But this we will talk later on. So other points that we would like to reach is to set up a startup for, uh, you know, concentrating um, a startup hub to concentrate all the startups that comes here in Lugano. Uh, actually, we already have many. 
and uh, some already moved, but we will see this later. Uh, we want to set up a private investment pool, which is very important. When you have a lot of startups, you need capitals to be invested in. And we want to create a real community, uh, because without community, it is not real. Uh, if you want to come to Lugano just to avoid some taxes, I think this is not the right place. If you come to Lugano, it's because you want to be part of a community, you want to be, you know, settle here, bring here your people, and talk to the other companies. So we really need to create a real network and a community that really strengthens the development of all projects. And we have one point which is interesting, is uh, uh, we want to attract R&D in sustainable mining, green, uh, green mining, because this, we think that the mining is still consuming too much energy, so we are welcoming the company who want to you know, find solution to create a, a better mining, a more green mining. But so, this, is, this was the plan, and we set up uh, the idea to do all those points in four years. I imagine we are a public administration. Public administration are not known to be the fastest uh, group of people, you know, developing projects. It takes political consensus, it takes decisions, it takes the involvement of the politics. But instead, in only 12 months, uh, thanks also to the collaboration with Tether, which was, you know, stimulating us to go fast and fast, um, we have reached so many milestones, unbelievable. Um, for instance, we have set up last year a summer school welcoming uh, 86 students from 29 countries, and we have organized this in a few weeks. So you can imagine we started in March, and in June we launched the school. In July we were opening the school, uh, thanks to uh, Franklin University, which is a private American university here in Lugano, uh, who put at disposal the whole campus. So in a few weeks we could organize this and welcome these 86 students coming from all over the world. We have set up a, a blockchain for business school, which is uh, going on right these days, these weeks. And this is dedicated to the professional sector, which means the banking sector, financial services, uh, lawyers, etc. Why we have done this? It's because we want to create awareness about what blockchain and what crypto is. In Lugano, we already have many professionals that already know exactly what we are talking about. They are managing customers and clients that are from this space. But I think if we are attracting, as it's happening, many people in this space, we also have to have professionals that can deliver services, quality services, uh, to customers that are kind of special. Because, you know, crypto and blockchain space, I still think it's a very special sector. In maybe in 10 years, this is normal. But today, you have to know how to speak to these customers and what these customers are looking for. Um, we have done an, uh, an agreement with all three universities located in the region of Lugano uh, to really organize bachelor's, master's studies and, and classes in blockchain, etc. And this is a very unique agreement uh, because it puts all the three universities together uh, working on one single topic. We have organized many, uh, many meetups, and then the Plan B Forum, which was one of our uh, goal, and we have organized this last year in October, end of October, also in few months, everything organized in few months, and it was a great success. Incredible speakers coming from over the world, and 1,000, more than 1,500 people came from all, all over the world. So this year we will repeat the forum also at the end of October, I think 2021st, and uh, this should be a, you know, a one-year uh, meeting point for the whole community. Naturally, this forum is not one of the many forum about Bitcoin, you know, is just a forum where Bitcoin is the king of the discussion, and we are really taking a look about freedom of speech, freedom of financial services. So it's more kind of a philosophical side instead of more uh, concentrated on Bitcoin as an investment mean. Then we have the crypto payments. Um, I told you before that we have already 300 merchants accepting the Luga, but now we are expanding the crypto payments uh, by uh, delivering to the merchants who want to uh, accept to work also with Bitcoin and Tether, physical point of sales. So with this, they can accept not only Luga, but also Bitcoin and Tether. So we expand the number of crypto they can accept, and we already have 150 uh, point of sales given to the shops, which is very interesting. So as Michael said, you can buy, you know, you can go to a restaurant, today you can buy a house, you can buy a car, you can really live with Bitcoin here. We are not yet at the end of the project because we have 1,000 physical point of sales already here, so we are now distributing one by one, which is a, 
a huge work. You know, you have to do the KYB, you have to onboard each one, you know, one to one. So, but we are doing it. We started a few months ago. Um, other milestones reached in only 12 months. Well, uh, the, the purchase of the hub has been finalized, so we have the hub. Uh, private investors have bought the, the building, a very nice building in the center of Lugano. Now they are you know, refurbishing the building to make it ready for accepting the startups, and I think probably before the forum we are ready to open it, which is a great milestone because this is really the heart of the whole project and the heart of the community. There will be a crypto bar, etc. So I'm not going to tell you more details on that, but this will be the point where the people can meet and exchange their opinion among startup or also with very important player on the space. So this is uh, something extremely important. Then we met hundreds of companies, uh, hundreds of startups and, and already established companies, and some already relocated. So we are waiting for the uh, hub to open, then we can really maybe realize some more relocation to Lugano. We have done a very interesting, uh, we have reached a very interesting milestone. In January, we have issued a 100 million Swiss franc bond, a digital bond, which is based in the blockchain. And this is you know, going around the world right now, in also already four months gone, but they are still calling us from all over the world, from Japan, from Singapore, from, from Dublin, because this is a very unique case. There are bonds already standing there, but this is the real first full characteristic bonds in the market. So this is an historic event, but maybe we can talk this later on on the panel. Uh, we have done a memorandum of understanding with El Salvador. Why El Salvador? Salvador is the first country who set up uh, Bitcoin as a legal tender. So very different countries, Switzerland and Salvador. Some can ask why Switzerland and Salvador, should, uh, sorry, why Lugano and El Salvador should cooperate on this? Well, in fact, Bitcoin and blockchain is a very special sector. So we exchange the opinion, we exchange the experiences, so we can learn from each other. So we set up this memorandum of understanding of a mutual collaboration uh, on many topics uh, about Bitcoin and uh, blockchain. And finally, we got the first company uh, who is working in uh, R sustainable R&D in mining. They opened it in Lugano, very interesting project. And so this is also a milestone that we could reach. Only 12 months. We said four years. It's just amazing. We are really, really tired. We worked on, on the evening, on the weekends, but this was something we had to do. So we could not reach all the milestones, but come on, we still have three years, but we, we will do as fast as possible. And what is underway right now is the uh, private investment pool. We are setting up a private investment pool between 50 and 100 million, which is very big at the beginning. And starting from this point, then we will try to you know, integrate and convince other funds to come in the Lugano region, because if you have a lot of uh, startup where to, you can invest, then it's interesting to set up funds in Lugano. But the first, the first step is to set up this private investment pool, which will be more concentrated on crypto, um, Bitcoin, and, and, and crypto uh, space. We are setting up a Plan B foundation, which should be, let's say, the umbrella where we can really concentrate all the activities. Because as I mentioned, you know, we are doing so many things that at one point you have to organize better the project because this is really becoming a very big, uh, uh, with a big impact project for the city. And then this point about what Michael said, uh, we are not ready to accept taxes in Bitcoin right now, and I explain why. Uh, some cities already accept Bitcoin for some small part of taxes in, you know, in the past. They started probably in 2018, 17. But what we are doing is to accept Bitcoin in an unlimited amount, which means if somebody has to pay me 5 million in taxes, then I'm going to accept 5 million in Bitcoins. And this is, is not exactly the same thing because you have uh, financial regulation in Switzerland, which is really strict but clear, so we are working on the way to make the best KYC and to reach the point where for Lugano City, uh, Bitcoin, Tether, and Luga will be a payment mean as the Swiss franc, which means for whatever you want to pay us. Uh, not ready yet, but working hard on this. And then there is still the last point, which is building the relationship with the banking sector. Uh, this is a point we will be, you know, ongoing for the next years, we are talking to so many banks, try to convince them to take a look to this and certainly to start understanding the crypto and blockchain customers because 
they have to serve those customers. It's not only in Switzerland, but all around the world, so few banks are really open to, to black, uh, blockchain and crypto customers, and I think it's really a pity. I come also from the banking sector, and this is not normal. Uh, the, the, the banking sector should really treat a startup in Bitcoin or startup in, in blockchain as a normal startup. So this is the work uh, I'm doing personally to you know, contact the banks and spend time with the banks to tell them what should be done, or at least what I think it should be done. And there is much, much more, but I will stop here because we don't have much time. Uh, thank you. My message is if you want to make business in blockchain and crypto, Lugano is the right space. You are welcome, but also for other sector, Neto Levasso. Thank you very much.